So you go guys on YouTube, here's a video today of Jamie Lavin, who's coming for a golf lesson today. Unbelievably playing off a handicap of 30. I mean, just scandalous, because the way he swings it, certainly now, the way he swings it now is is amazing. He came in today struggling with strike, uh, complained about his topping shots, so hitting shots along the ground, couldn't get distance and couldn't get height. Um, We've changed that enormously today. So as you can see, we're down here at Quest Golf Academy. We're in the indoor studio today because it's snowing outside. Uh, but we're still working hard on Jamie's game to get him really improving for this season. This was his swing before at the start of today's lesson. He's, he's never had a lesson off me, but he has had lessons previously. And I could see that. I could sense that. It's just that the basic strike characteristics were really missing. So set up as we see, this is just a seven iron. Um, good posture, good leg action. Um, but we get a bit close. There's not much room between the butt end of the golf club and the legs. And that really stems part of the issue. From that point, then, the club starts to go up and out. And the hands start to lift quite a lot. And as we get to the top of the swing, we notice a very, very steep top left arm position. So as we get to the top here, that left arm is super upright. Elbow becomes disconnected from the side. And to an extent, we're almost covering his mouth. Jamie's covering his mouth at the top of the swing there. So blend that in with standing too close. Mm, this is not great. Recipe for disaster. Because what happens then, the club comes down too steep. Just cannot get that club moving behind us. We, it doesn't matter how hard Jamie would try. He just wouldn't be able to do that. Um, so the club here comes through, for me, a, a definite no-go zone on the downswing through the middle of the chest. And as it comes into the shot here, it's already on the outside of the golf ball. Now, this wasn't a shank. He managed to find middle on this occasion. But the club was moving six degrees to the left. Six degrees to the left. On this occasion, he managed to find middle, but it wasn't a good strike. It sounded horrible. A shot earlier than this, which I didn't record, unfortunately, was a very similar looking swing, but hit the real hosel and just shanked straight off to the right. Be ready for this change. I think it's awesome, this change. So, the first thing that we introduced was distance away. We needed to create some space, because if Jamie gets too close to the golf ball and then picks his arms up, there's, there's nowhere for him to go. He's got no chance of striking the ball well. We've still stuck with, the same, stuck with the same posture, but just give that gap between the club and the arms. And then we really wanted to stick with the same takeaway, because I really like Jamie's takeaway. Even though before, because of the closeness, it would go a little bit on the outside, I still wanted this golf club coming straight back. Is that not the greatest first initial movement from a 30 handicap that anybody's ever seen? For me, it is. I think it's perfect. I think it's amazing. From here now, traditionally, we saw before the arms would literally just lift up above the head. So what I tried to do with Jamie today is get his left arm more across his chest. I know. I, 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 don't, I, know. I don't need to say anything, do I? How amazing is that? How amazing is that difference? Before you even knew anything about this golf swing, in, ask yourself, what handicap is that golfer off? I know the answers for many people would be single figures. Is he, is he a, a uni player? Does he, is he going out on scholarship in America? That's how good it looks. It's unreal. Now, what we see at the moment is just a little bit of a run over. That's fine. We can live with that. We can, that's the thing that we just need to adjust, but it's not a big deal. But watch the downswing. This is where I'm really proud about this swing change today do you remember before it's coming straight through the middle of the chest horrible now this club's starting to flatten out now we've got space now as this club starts to come into the ball it's never going to hit the heel it's never ever going to hit the heel we are striking the middle time and time again the swing change there towards the end was measuring about 1.7 to what 2.5 degrees from the inside and just hitting these amazing 155, 160 yard seven irons. It was just perfect. Just so good. I just want to play that downswing one more time. Just love how that club just drops behind and then just delivers it into such a strong position. Um, we also tweaked driver. I didn't record any before swings with driver. I probably should have done, actually. Now, for some reason, Jamie's grip gets a little bit strong with driver, so we, we might still fight lefts for a bit, but that's, that's fine. We don't need to fix that straight away. All we did was talk about just getting to the top of that flatter position. The club then came in from behind, and this was a drive that went 221 yards with a lovely draw. Jamie's playing on Thursday. You and me all will be holding our breaths to find out what he shoots. No pressure.
<laughs> um, it's so it's so important seeing a video like this because it's like I, I left scratching my head when I when I I'm like 15 year old playing a couple of years. How how's he off? How's he off 30? It's way too high a handicap. And granted, I've not seen him out on the golf course yet, but now when I see his swing before, I can kind of see why he struggled. It's almost a misdiagnosis. He wasn't topping it; he was shanking it. And when he's shanking it, trying to fix the top, oh god, it's awful. It's a position you just cannot get out of. Uh, great work there, Jamie. I think you've worked amazingly well. Uh, I've got your dad in for a lesson next. Let's see if he can do the same. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube and you are new to the Quest Golf channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Comment below what do you think of Jamie's swing changes. I think it's unreal. One of the best changes I've ever seen. And a very, very exciting um, season for this young man. I think we're going to see some great stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully everyone's learned a little bit from that. But most importantly, Jamie's going to see some great golf. Nice. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.